All right, this is the training video on how to publish a book on CreateSpace. This is a for physical print books using CreateSpace. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into the CreateSpace account. Uh, and if you come to the main dashboard here, after you log in, it should just be a button that says add new title. And then we're gonna do the name of the product, which is gonna be the name of the book. So I just published uh, this first book in the series. Um, this book and now we're going to publish the second book so we're just going to copy the title here no gentleman and that's going to be the name of the project and then select paperback and then select expert and click get started next to expert now then we're going to fill in the rest of the title information here so we're going to go to the subtitle from the book on amazon and then the author name and you want to make sure that the author name is done uh, accurately so um so there's three parts here for the author name. There's the, well, I guess just a couple. So there's prefixes and suffixes, which we almost never use. Um, but sometimes you might have them, like sir for a prefix or like MD or something like that if they want, um, uh, you know, those kind of credentials behind their name. But for most authors, you won't have that. So this one is Mary Christian Payne. And in this case, we're going to use Mary, uh, or sorry, Christian as the middle name. It won't always be that way, but for this author, that's how we're doing it. And then you pick this part is this book is a part of a series. It is. So if you come over here, you'll see this is in a series called the Thornton book, the Thornton trilogy. And it's book two in the series. If you scroll down the page, you'll also see that's in a series here. So that's how you know the book is in a series. So put the Thornton trilogy there for the series title. And this is the second book. So it's volume two. Edition number, you can leave that blank. And publication date, you can leave that blank as well. And then we need to enter our own ISBN. Now, in order to do that, we have to go to Bowker's. So it's myidentifiers.com. You're going to log into your account. You're going to come up to manage ISBNs. And then you're going to come to a page down here. You can scroll through the pages using these buttons down here. And once you are there, then you're going to sign a title. So once you find a blank ISBN that's not been assigned yet, you're going to go ahead and click assign title. Okay, now you're going to fill in a lot of the same information. So... title, subtitle, the main description, which is this book description here on Amazon. Now make sure when you copy and paste the description that it, there is no blank spot. So if you copy more than 350 words, a lot of your stuff will get cut off. So you have to rewrite those sentences or rewrite that description so it fits within 350 words. Next, you're going to come down here to language and I just hit control F to find and I look for English and I find English and select English for the current language. And then you're gonna have to upload here the cover image and the book. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the cover image right there and hit upload. And then I'm going to upload the print file, and the PDF. They both have to be PDFs. And once it's uploaded, you'll see here the image will now display. And then here you'll see that the PDF will view your PDF. So once you've done that, you're done with this first page. Just click Go to Contributors. And this is where you're going to type in the author's name. So here we're going to put Mary Christian Payne. And then notice here that Christian, even though it's the middle name in CreateSpace, uh, it goes with the first name here because there's no room for a middle name. And then you select Author and then contributor biography. So we're gonna to go to the biography on Amazon. We're gonna copy and paste it right there. And again, make sure because it's only 350 words max, if you copy too much, it'll get cut off. So make sure that doesn't happen, or if it does, you fix it. So there's not you know broken sentences in this author biography because all this information you put in here and the ISBN is gonna be uploaded to all the industry databases. So it has to be accurate and correct. So make sure uh, double check everything that's accurate and correct and that there's no mistakes or you know half written sentences and so forth. Next, to go to format and size. So for this book, it is a print book and format is paperback. So anytime you're gonna do create space for a paperback, it's gonna be print. You're gonna select print and select paperback. Then primary subject, this book is a romance novel. So we're gonna go to fiction romance and secondarily is going to be fiction historical because it's a historical romance novel. And go to sales and pricing. And then select United States. 
imprint will be tckpublishing.com. The title status will be active record. Publication date, you can just do the date you submit. So I'll do November 15th. Two thousand sixteen. Target audience is always going to be trade. Always select trade for target audience. There are very few exceptions to that. Uh, and then for pricing, we're going to do U.S. dollars. Just put nineteen ninety nine for most books. Some books will be different, but the vast majority of the time will be nineteen ninety nine. And select the retail price there, and U.S. dollars. And once you're done with that, you're going to hit submit. And it will say your form is complete and saved successfully if you did it all right. Now, if there's any issues, there'll be like a red mark uh, and you'll have to fix those issues. But this actually worked out fine. I did everything correctly. So click my identifiers again to go back. And here you'll see the uh, information here. So now for no gentleman, this is the ISBN number right here. So I'm going to copy that ISBN number and go back to create space. And put that right there. Just copy and paste it. And the imprint name is just tckpublishing.com. Make sure TCK and P are all capitalized. So tckpublishing.com. Next, we have to select the trim size. Um, for this book, it's six by nine. Most books will be six by nine, but every once in a while, we use something a little bit different. Then you can upload the in interior file. So the PDF interior file, we're gonna upload that. This is the same file that we uploaded earlier uh, in Bowker's and my identifiers. And then we're also going to upload the PDF cover file, which will be this PDF cover file. I just select glossy for almost all books. And then again, we're going to copy this description here. So copy the description here from Amazon. And with CreateSpace, we're going to have to add these tags. So BR, this, this tag is right here. And you need two of them. And that's what those do is just add a space so that when this listing it's posted on Amazon, there will actually be a space between paragraphs, so it's not just one gigantic paragraph. You have to add that HTML to make sure um, that those uh, paragraphs are displayed correctly. So add a two BRs between every paragraph. Next, we're going to select a BISAC category. And so for this one, it's going to be fiction. So we go to fiction and then historical romance. So we're going to go down to romance and then historical. Actually, there's another historical one here, and then 20th century. So we're going to select 20th century historical romance. And then for keywords, country publication is the United States. Keywords, we're going to use um, keywords related to the book. You get five keywords. So make sure you do five keywords. One, two, three, four. We've got one more. And hit save progress. Once your progress is saved, if there's any errors, you'll, you'll see notifications down here you'll have to fix. You're going to go ahead and select every single distribution channel that, that you are allowed to. Usually, it, that should be five of them. Next is the pricing. So most books are going to be $19.99. There'll be a few exceptions here and there, but most books will be $19.99. So you're going to do $19.99 across all markets, and then you can hit Save Progress. After that's all done, if there's no red errors, red notifications, you go ahead and hit Submit for review. And once you are done, I'll say your files are being checked. Files are checked within 24 hours. If you do not get this message, it means something went wrong. So make sure that when you submit and save that you actually 
uh, says your files are being checked. If you've done that, then you're all done with this part. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate your help.